Hi and welcome back to this uh, series of videos looking at this small little uh, battery electric loco that me and my son are building. Um, it's a uh, modelled on a, a green bat locomotive uh, kits from uh, PS Models. Um, last time, if you know, remember, we just built up the the kind of the basic uh, frame to so the back bat parts that are painted here and, and done um, some preparation of the parts, but we've not done very much. But as you can see, we've done a bit more, haven't we? Yeah. Um, so what did we start with today? We uh, we did the wheels, didn't we? We did the wheels and we put the cog in and we put the motor in. Okay. And that all went nice and straightforward, didn't it? Yeah. And then what did we do? We um we glued some more pieces together, so, didn't we? So what did we do? So we glued the sides on. All the bits on, didn't yeah. we? Then we put putty on it. Yeah, well before we did the putty, what did we do? Did we did we, we checked it worked, didn't we? We checked it worked and we did it on some track. Yeah, so I'll try and throw up a, a quick little video on the screen while we're talking but yeah we we, um, we put the battery on just a straightforward um, two AAA batteries uh, the battery holder that comes with it it's not what we'll be using because we're going to use a, a lithium-ion battery and a local remote to power it like we have with the other the other kits but we, we just put the two batteries on didn't we two AAA's and uh, watched it run around a circle track which was fun wasn't it seeing it actually work um, he's nodding again he keeps not talking you're gonna yeah. say yes. Yes. Yes, it was fun, yes, wasn't it? It was fun. It was fun. Really fun. And then uh yeah, you didn't like doing the putty when we did the wagon last time, did you? No. No. So I put the putty on, but we're gonna file it back together, aren't we? Yeah. So um what else did we do? What did what did Daddy manage to break? Um we managed to break one of the one of Yeah, you can show. We them. broke one of the we broke one of these, it's just like a so do you know it, we know what it's for. Don't we? It's one of the lifting straps for the battery box. So in theory, when it's finished, it will glue on the side here, like that, and there should be four of them on each corner of the battery box. And what we were trying to do was we were drilling out the holes to fit bolts. Now I managed to drill this one slightly. We well, we managed to drill this one slightly off center, which didn't help, but it wouldn't have been terrible. Um, and push the pin in. But when we were doing one of the others, you want to show them the parts. Uh, it broke, didn't it? So yeah. that was a bit sad. Um, so fortunately, um, we decided that instead of instead of just trying to glue it back together or anything, since we're already printing bolts to um, to, to to improve the part, really, we would um, just print some more parts. So like, uh, if you can see this one, so um, here's the wooden one, and here's the newly printed plastic one. It has got four bolts. There we go. Um, so you can see these are pretty much identical in size. Um, the hole at the end might be ever so slightly smaller, but it's not it's not far off. Um, and the bolts are already in place. So we will just um, glue these. Once we, everything's printed, painted, sorry, we will glue these on, and that will be much easier than um, than, than drilling out all the holes, isn't it? it? Took about half an hour for the print. It was a 0.02 millimeter layer height, so that the bolts didn't get any obvious um, stepping lines on them as it printed um, so um, we uh, yeah so about 45 minutes from having broken one to having uh, four replacements I've cut one off the sprue but we've got the the three others on a, on a lifting backing plate um, so yeah so um, we've got to we've got to sand down sand down the corners and we've got to deal with the roof um, for this, haven't we? But there aren't that many yeah. pizzas left. Oh, um, we haven't done the, the coupling blocks yet either. We haven't put those together. But we're in two minds about exactly how we're going to paint it. We're having a bit of an argument on colour, aren't we? Yeah. What colour do you want it to be? Green. You want it to be green. I fancied the, the this kind of standard colour for these kind of things, which I believe was kind of black uh, frames and then a yellow battery box. It's certainly the kind of reasonably standard kind of industrial um, look I've seen for kind of battery locomotives. But you fancy you fancy black frames at the bottom and then green at the top, so we might we might do that. Um, but I'm thinking that actually it might be easier to fit some of the detail parts after we've painted. So there's a line here essentially, which is where the battery uh, box finishes, and the idea being that usually this top part would be one colour, and then the frames and below would be black. So I'm thinking that if you fit the the lifting straps to the side it's going to make masking up um, to paint a bit of a pain because um, I guess if, if what it, depending on the colour up here you'd probably want to paint this colour first and then spray the black frame but if I've got these here um, 
these lifting straps then that might not work uh, very easily because you would have to mask over that at the bottom so I'm thinking what I might do or we might do you're gonna have to handle the spray can again um, oh, no. he's pulling faces he didn't like the spray paint last time did you no. you have to speak so people can hear um, yeah so yeah, we are thinking so what we might do is is, is leave, leave these off aren't we yeah um, um, paint and mask and then glue them the on when it's painted yeah, yeah. Uh, but we'll have to see how that yeah, goes. The, the coupling blocks we can probably um, glue on before that because obviously they won't cause a problem with masking because we'll be masking the the top part and then spraying all the bottom bit black. So they may go on before we do we do any painting. Uh, but yeah, we've had fun, haven't we? Yeah. It was nice and straightforward. But yeah, so we'll we'll just have to um, we'll have to do the the sanding of the putty before we do much else, I think. But then we can add the, the printed details that I did for the axle boxes. We can add the coupling blocks. Um, and then we can think about potentially doing some painting, at least a, an undercoat layer, just to check that we've got all the sanding and stuff sorted. Again, also, there's a seat that goes in here, but we may not fit that until um, we've painted the inside of here so it's easier to get in with a brush uh, and then fit the seat. And we also might wait until we've got a driver figure because um, we don't know what we're going to use for a figure yet, do we? No. no, you were you were also trying to work out which way you wanted the front to be, didn't you? I think so, it should be that way. You think the front should be here, this one, don't you? Yeah, um, that should be the, like where the cab sits in the real thing, but shouldn't. Yeah, so I'm not sure whether, if he wants this to be the front, then whether we essentially put the driver figure looking that way, so <sighs> that when you press forward on the control, it actually goes that way, so he's looking that way. Um, so that might make a change as to where we put the seat and which driver figure we we buy. I'm not I'm not actually sure yet as to whether whether we want to do that or not. We'll have to make yeah. a decision what we'll have to have a look at the list of characters we can buy uh, and see which way around we want to we want to do it. Uh, but we've had fun this afternoon haven't we and uh, and it's going it's going quite well. So that's where we are and hopefully yeah. there will be another video at some point soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye.